Ijevsk is the capital of the Edmurtian Republic, located in the western Urals area, formerly an engineering town and a closed city during Soviet times. It's been a place where all kind of metal work was done, especially the manufacture of machinery and weaponry. It's also where Mikhail Kalashnikov designed his famed AK assault rifle. But it's not the only invention that the city is famous for, as Artizarina Galushko now discovered. Some call it the ultimate firearm that changed the world. The famed Kalashnikov assault rifle. It was developed soon after the end of the World War II by Mikhail Kalashnikov, an engineer at the Izhmash weapons factory. It was created with the experience of war in mind, with consideration for all the requirements for a firearm, which were in place during the war. Today our customers demand new qualities from the assault rifle. They want a combination of a sniper and a short-barreled weapon. A rifle that will have high accuracy, yet be easy to carry and use. Now that we know how that legendary weapon works in theory, let's find out how it is in practice. And what a better place to do that other than at a shooting range. The AK-47 has few moving parts, so it doesn't jam. Resistant to cold, heat, rain and snow, it can lie buried in sand for years and still be ready to use, if you just clean it up a bit. In the Central Russian Republic of Admurtia, as in the rest of the country, members of the Special Operations Unit of the Ministry of Internal Affairs rely almost exclusively on Kalashnikovs. And not just because they're made in the capital of Admurtia. Many of them use the AK in anti-terror operations in Chechnya. When you're in combat, it's very important that a rifle be easy to use and care for, especially in the Caucasus. I'd say it's the best weapon there is and deserves very high praise. But Tajevsk isn't just the city that produces the world's most popular weapon. It's also a stronghold of defense manufacturing and innovative technologies. Tajevsk based Zala Aero is the leading producer of unmanned aerial vehicles in Russia. Because they're hard to spot, easy to use and can fly over places where human cannot or should not set foot, Russia's ministries of defense and emergencies and anti-terrorist center are some of Zala Iro's most prominent customers. I think Izhevsk is unique. I mean, when you live next door like I do to Mr. Kalashnikov, you know, you have a strive in, in your life to you make it big. So uh, we tried to make it big. Our company started here because the main engineers and main thinking block was here. From centuries-old weapon-making traditions to the latest cutting-edge technology, when it comes to national security, Izhevsk truly lives up to its reputation as Russia's fortress of defense manufacturing. Irina Galushko, Republic